Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comps Prepper and in this video I'm going to demonstrate sending an email over high frequency radio using the ICOM IC7300 and an SCS Pactor 4 modem set to the Pactor 3 mode. I've done a lot of videos like this in the past but recently I received a comment on one of those videos saying that this capability has no usefulness whatsoever for emergency preparedness or prepping and I could not disagree more. So in this video, I'm going to simulate losing internet here on the East Coast, around the Virginia area, and I'm going to send an email to a fellow YouTuber, TR Prepper, down in South Carolina, without using the internet. I'm going to send the email from my computer here, over the radio, to a relaying station, hopefully in New England, and that'll get routed to the internet, down to TR Prepper's Gmail inbox. I've got the camera going here and I'm going to use the desktop capture software to demonstrate this capability. I'm going to open up my WinLink Express program here and I'll try to split the screen. And I'm going to draft an email and send it down to TR to kind of show you the usefulness of this capability. And I made some slides to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So again, there's no internet here in Virginia. Let's say I'm running this radio on battery. And I want to send an email to somebody I know outside of the impacted area. Who knows why there's no internet? Maybe somebody didn't pay the bill. But in this scenario, there's no internet in Virginia. And I'm going to send an email to South Carolina over HF radio with no internet. I'm going to open up a new message here. I'm going to put two here and select TR Prepper. Now I already got his permission to show his email address here. And I actually put that in twice, so we'll back that out. I'm going to try not to have to edit this video too much. I'm going to put in here test email because that's all this is. I'm going to go ahead and say this is a test for the video and I'm going to post this to my outbox in the RMS Express software here. Actually now it's called WinLink Express. We're going to post to outbox and now I'm going to open up what they call a session. Now, the nice thing about the WinLink system is there's multiple ways to send and receive messages. Strictly Internet with Telnet, you can use Packet for VHF or Pactor for HF. I'm going to open a Pactor session by clicking here, and I'll get a Bluetooth link between the computer and the modem here. I have a blue light, and I should get an indication here in the software that the modem is ready. Now I'm going to select a channel. I'm going to try to pick a channel up north someplace. So I'm going to try this W1EO channel. And it's telling me here this is my dial frequency. So I'm going to put my dial frequency in here. That's 3596.4. It's a little sensitive here. I'm going to turn my power down to 50% because we're running data. I'm going to go ahead and tune. First I'm going to listen, make sure there's nobody there. There's the automatic antenna tuner. I'm going to change the sideband to upper first and then go to data mode. Now I'm in the data mode. I've already tuned and I'm going to try to connect to that station W1EO and I'll look up where he's at in a moment. So we'll go ahead and hit start and this radio will start calling out to that station. We got our connection there. Now again, this is HF radio over that modem to that remote station, W1 Echo Oscar. And after I edit this video, I'll figure out where that station is actually located. And we finally made a link and now we're going to go ahead and send that message. It's already out. You can tell by the green status bar. And it's also doing error correction right now between the two stations. And there you have it. One email sent over HF radio to that other station. That station will put that onto the internet. 
and that'll show up on TR Prepper's computer or phone and he'll actually be able to reply to my email. That's a pretty powerful tool for emergency preparedness and prepping. Not everything has to be a walking dead type disaster zombie apocalypse for an emergency. In this scenario here, there's just a loss of internet in the Virginia area and I wanted to send a message down to South Carolina and I was able to do that over HF radio without an internet service provider here. We sent it to that station W1EO and they're going to put it into the internet for us and the idea here is I can reach outside of an impacted area and still send and receive email to people who don't have ham radio licenses and they can send email to me. So to the person who left that comment, I hope you watched this video and now get an idea of the actual usefulness of HF data and HF radio email. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with another HF radio email demonstration. And a shout out to TR Prepper and thanks for being a participant in the making of this video. Thanks for watching guys.